last trip my water pump broke and I got a new pump now and pump came with the stringer filter and all the attachments so I'm going to install it but first I want to take out the old pump and see what happened to the old pump Right, this is the old pump and what happened is this cable here got corroded and the clip just got so corroded just came off uh, the clip here still works but it's such in a tight place that when I was in the Bahamas I couldn't fix it there because I had to take out the water tank so and look what happened here with the vibration the mounts are splitting that's why I wanted to get a new one because this pumps to get a lot of abuse. This one is 70 psi, 5 gallons per minute, and the new one is 55 psi. You can hardly see it, it's all worn out there, but it's 55 psi and it's 3 gallons per minute. The reason I got one smaller is because I don't need that much pressure and also the weight. This one is about 2 to 3 pounds heavier than this one here. If you look at the motor, the size of the motor is about, probably about 20% smaller, so it is a lot lighter. So it's going to be easier on the mount. The only thing I do need to change is this plug here. I need to install it here into these wires. Um, also the connections are the same, so it's just a quick installation. To get this pump working now if you see all the corrosion here from the environment the salt and corrosion here i put a little bit of silicone in the past here and it has protected a little bit and then here a little bit of corrosion here and definitely the most important part is here these cables so to avoid of this happening again because you have to fix things that get damaged and learn from your mistakes what I'm gonna do is I got this clear silicone waterproof sealant 3m product is great too but this one is just as good as a 3m product it's a lot cheaper and you can use this also in salt water and freshwater aquarium so this Loctite compared to the uh, 3m is very similar if you want to save a little bit of money this is another way to go so what I want to do is, in the new one, to prevent from these cables to corrode, is apply a lot of silicone here around these wires. So that way, these wires don't vibrate or salt water gets in here, or in all these connections right here also. And I'm going to put silicone also around the pump here, where it's metal, so that way it doesn't corrode. Also here, and all the way around here. So that way my pump lasts a lot longer and I don't have this same problem here. It's just preventative maintenance. I'm gonna start here in the front where the connections are. And first, before that, I'm gonna make sure the connections are very tight before I glue them back in. Flood that hole in there, flood the opening with a lot of silicone. Also here where the wire has an opening. If you do this preventative maintenance, your pump is going to last you a lot longer because salt water gets everywhere, especially on a small boat. Right here where there's a metal part and aluminum part here. I want to prevent this area here to get rust. 
like this all the piece right here you can see all that rust there so prevent that ever from getting rust now this here 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 and around the plate of the motor here also put some silicone here this pump doesn't need to breathe anywhere it's all sealed closed the screws here they get corroded too if you look at the other one see how corroded they're getting so to prevent that from happening again silicone is really easy to remove if you need to remove any of these screws and also here where these wires are All right, this rest of the silicone I'm going to use it tomorrow so it's going to be fine usually pour a little bit out and then close the lid that way it makes a good seal see how it looks all the connections especially here which this is the problem I had before that the cable came disconnected right here now while this is drying I'm going to take off this piece of connection here and connected to this piece right here and how thicker the uh, older pump wire was and look at the new pump so so definitely you can see the new pump draws a lot less amperage okay this one is 3.5 amps and this one is 17 amps so this one definitely wastes a lot more energy than uh, the new one and the way I'm going to connect this in wire to wire like this I'm not to worry about this connection because there's not going to be water hitting it the area that the connection is going to be it's going to be very good it's going to be dry and of course to protect it from moisture Alright, you see how it came out? So no moisture is going to get in here. And like I said, this wire is not going to be exposed to the water. It's going to be hidden underneath the uh, fiberglass. But this is going to prevent from moisture. And once I connect the other piece here, I'll go around with tape more. That way there's no water touching these uh, plugs here. Alright, so it's all dried up already. A day has gone by. And all the silicone is already dried and I'm going to install it now. The base that I built here with stainless screws so the way the tank does not shift and also there's a string here to keep the tank and also remember the weight of the tank is going to bring the tank down but this is just to protect it in case you hit a big wave. Now this clamps here I'm going to remove both clamps and you see they're kind of corroded and I'm gonna get new ones and install new ones that way they'll last longer even though this one will last a little bit but it's better just to get new ones in you see all the clamps are corroded so it's important just to get new ones and yes I pinched my finger a little bit here but it's gonna be okay I usually put two for safety just in case one breaks you have two because it's going to be about 50 psi here so I want to have good protection I already have the holes there pre-drilled from the last unit last pump so this one will sit in exactly where the other one was before I put the pump in I'm going to put a galvanized washer and with a stainless steel screw here make sure that I don't hit the bolt shelf that way since it's so tight in there 
is a lot easier to screw later. Make sure I feel the tip of the screw. That way it's easier to install when it's in there. I am only able to put three screws because the fourth screw is so tight in there and if I put a first screw I could probably hit the outer shell of the boat. It's really close to the outer shell. So see how the screws are showing? All the screws fell into place already. If you don't have the screws opening, you have to make sure you put those holes uh, not really close to your outer hole because if you put it close to your outer hole, you're gonna open a hole on the outer hole. This one on this side here is very tricky because you can hardly see it, so you gotta feel where the screw is. the pump is already installed all right so now I'm gonna connect this hose I'll go under here okay, I'm gonna put this strap out of here out of the way bring the tank in tank is in. You see the silicone right here from the previous installation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out. This is very tight in here but it's better if this moved a little bit to put new silicone there. Just remove the old one. Now this right here is your vent. This vent is good to put it higher than the tank. That way water doesn't siphon out of this uh, tube here. And this is the water source right here. If you have new connectors, it's better to use them instead of using the old ones. That way they can set better on the pump. This connector doesn't take a lot of pressure. This is your water feed, and your water feed doesn't have a lot of pressure. It's very minimal pressure. It's always good to keep one of these on your boat. Um, a spare, just in case the other one goes bad something happens it they could break through here it is possible I'm not gonna change this clip here because this one is in good conditions and it's a very strong one you can leave this here without a clamp doesn't need it because it's already tight but it's always good to put one. Now the vent is going to go through here. Now I'm going to install the strap. Alright, the strap is already installed. It's very strong. And usually to fill the tank is easy. I just pull the strap back and remove this lid here. Now something very important is to check your water tank. You see the hose on there? The hose it's got to stay put in a corner of the tank because if you leave it slapping around it could curl up and you could be missing some water out of the tank so you want to put it in a corner and leave it put there alright something that I did forgot to do 
is I forgot to put this must need it stringer here because if any particle goes inside the pump you can damage the pump it's very easy all I gotta do is remove this yeah the stringer is very important if you don't have the stringer in there you're going to uh, damage the pump here it's okay if you leave this stringer up um, that way if there's any kind of debris you can see it if the stringer is pointing down then you won't see the debris and you can have a lot of debris in there and you're not knowing it so it's better to leave it up if you can that way you can see it and also it's easy to remove and clean right there fresh water okay before I turn the pump on I'm gonna connect this connection here all right perfect so I'm gonna turn on the uh, pump now I'm going to air it out. Take the air out. Now you see the water going right to the stringer there. That's excellent pressure. It reaches all the way around the boat. Get more pressure. No need for 70 psi. Plus, the more psi you have, the more water you're going to waste a lot quicker. And if you have to conservate water, definitely you don't want to have a lot of pressure. All right, the last thing I want to do now is put some marine silicone around this here. Alright, so it's all done. The water pump is all installed. It's ready to go. And I will put the link in the description below about the water pump also on the adhesive silicone that I use. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.